your toilet breaks down, who do you call? So I, I, I fix my own car. I can, I can okay. do. I'm who, most who, mechanics. Your I power, can... your power supply. Who runs it? Who runs the infrastructure of society? Men or women? Oh, at the moment, men. Oh, the... People who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. A respected lawyer, had a good career. What do you think your kids are going to think when they said, oh, my mom had two options. They could have been a philosopher and a lawyer who made a lot of money, but they decided to be an online for two years. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Gets It Out. Today's video is titled Modern Women Are Finally Realizing the Ultimate Truth. Make tap moments. Guys, this video is for Man Reacts. Let's get right into it. We do Whatever need men though. We do. We don't need them. We then, do. No, because then lesbians. Who do you call to get your car fixed? A man or a woman? Your toilet breaks down. Who do you call? A so man I, I fix my own car. I can, I can okay. do. I'm who, most who, mechanics. Your I power, can... your power supply. Who runs it? Who runs the infrastructure of society? Men or women? Oh, at the moment, men. Obviously, yeah. so, of patriarchy. So we, so... Of, because of, because oh, of patriarchy. Oh no. Oh, no. But... <laughs> Ironically, most modern women say they don't need a man, and yet depend on them for so much throughout their adult lives. Men come in the form of boyfriends, lovers, and sugar daddies. This is the reality today, plain and simple. Men are just tired of the modern woman who makes it next to impossible for them to go out on a nice date. Their unbelievable standards are making men look the other way and in other directions. But today, women are slowly coming to terms with the fact that men are finding better, more feminine, and wife material women in countries such as the Philippines, Thailand, and places like Eastern Europe. They're realizing that there's a whole reason there's a community of and it's funny you said that, because that's where my wife is from, Philippines. Go figure, right? Western men called the Passport Brothers. And that reason is that Western women have endless expectations from men, making it impossible for them to fill these women's criteria for an ideal man. And the funny thing is, this whole list goes down the drain when they get to spend a night with their chads and Tyrones. Selling line and using the money that you make from that translates to any sort of intelligence or skill. I have a degree. A degree in what? philosophy i could go <laughs> to grad school and become a lawyer if i okay. wanted that's a good point you could have become a very well respected lawyer had a good career what do you think your kids are going to think when they said oh my mom had two options they could have been a philosopher and a lawyer who made a lot of money but they decided to be an online for two years and then when they got ugly now nobody wants to hire them anymore because they ruined their name and their reputation women need to understand that you can only go so far with telling one group of people that they deserve nothing and no effort on your part You'll do as you please at all times, regardless of how much pain it causes them. And you refuse to contribute anything ever. And there's nothing whatsoever that you owe them under any circumstances, regardless of what they do for you. But they owe you a very long list of requirements and conditions. You can break any contract between you at any time with all the consequences suffered by the other party. How enticing does that sound to anybody? No one is going for this anymore. Obviously. Offering someone a truly horrible deal that they get little to nothing from, and which also places them in grave danger, is not going to get anyone anything they're looking for. More broadly, everything you think you're owed is actually what you're withholding from the world. Not just for women, everyone. If you want to be respected and loved, you have to be someone who's respectable and has love in your heart and gives it to others. If you've made yourself into someone who's never going to be respectable again, and there's no love energy within you, it's over. You are never attaining those things. There are things you cannot recover from that will tarnish your reputation forever. Everyone has the unlimited right to reject you for any reason they see fit. You don't get to reprogram anyone's mind to accept your terrible condition and behavior. Nobody does. I'm thinking. Well, in what sense is our society... And that's the thing with most women, right? They're, they're out there tarnishing men's reputations, talking about men, oh, you're selling for women that... Will accept anything, and that's so far from the truth. A moment of waking up to it. Pretty male dominated. Uh, the fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital and is owned by men. Women do more unpaid it's a very, labor. Very tiny proportion of men, and a huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Uh, most men. Most people, wars are men. 
people who do worse in school are men. It's like, where's the dominance here precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of the of Western society. There's nothing about that. Women got their hackles up a long time ago. They often operate and make decisions based on the ongoing struggle they have with men in their heads. Whereas my decisions are based on the fact that women have disappointed me consistently ever since I took my ruby colored glasses off. I grew up idolizing women and feeling like I needed a woman to be happy. Once I realized just how terribly one-sided these relationships are, I just let go of that dream. It's been a hard journey to see the reality of the situation. I did not want to see it for a very long time. I call that the dark age of my life. I think women have pretty much painted themselves into a corner here. And unfortunately, because of their narcissistic nature and unwillingness to be held accountable for anything, there really is no solution here. I am just not interested anymore in a relationship where I always end up being the one that gives and gives while my partner criticizes from the sidelines, letting me know how I can better make her happy. Guys, if you find a decent, respectable woman in any part of the world, be her provider and protector. Do not listen to these feminist woke women. They will derail your path toward greatness and joy. Sometimes you have to venture out to find what you are looking for. Calling a man a loser for leaving to find a woman is as bad as calling a man a loser for looking for better employment outside of his hometown. The ideology of the modern woman ideally works for them from when they're in their teens to the mid-twenties at the most, especially in terms of financial success. If they're ambitious and want a career without wanting to settle down with a man or have a family, then this ideology works for them perfectly. But if they want to start a family, then this ideology goes against the way they want to spend the rest of their lives, and that's where the problems start they realize they can't have everything, and that's when they start blaming men for everything that goes wrong with their lives. It's funny how American women literally blame everything on men, and it's pretty interesting. So true, guys. You hear it all the time. The patriarchy, the patriarchy. Same thing in this video. She was talking to just probably things. Oh, well, you know men fix it. The patriarchy does it. Sickening. To note the reactions of American women, when they find out men are leaving for other countries because they've had it with American women. It's actually funny because these women start calling these men losers and desperate for wanting to be with women who are more traditional, hold moral values, and are more feminine. It's also funny to see that these women think the women in the East are repressed, oppressed, or desperate for American men. If only these American women had ever ventured out into the world, they would have realized the true meaning of partnership, loyalty, being masculine, being feminine, and staying true to your nature. Eastern women are highly educated and are no pushovers, but it just hurts when modern Western women complain about men leaving them in search of better partners abroad. To accuse a man of protecting his resources is insane. To compete with women who seek to ruin you is more insane. To trust anyone outside of previous relationships to your benefit is at best foolish. They're more traditional because they stay true to their feminine values, and that's part of the cultures in East and South Asia. Unlike American women who have lost all moral credibility, this really frustrates them because men don't find them attractive anymore, no more how many liposuctions or changes they make to their bodies. American women have failed to realize that a woman's true beauty lies on the inside and not on the outside. Men really just want appreciation for their hard work mm -hmm. and not be used or exploited by other women. To have this, I recommend that you live a non-BS life, live free, and avoid committing to someone who you now know is only going to use you for your hard work. So, be warned, be humble, be grateful, and be careful about who you spend your time with. Definitely. Dating, or what it used to be, is dead. It's all about who can provide, and for what. For example, the rise of these sugar daddy apps has only spoiled the dating marketplace even more. Mm -hmm. It just certifies what we're talking about, and banks on the new roles defined by modern women who only date so that they can get what they want without any commitment and the guy can spend on her for a half-meant, half-serious interaction. The relationships now have become completely transactional. Give or take. Barter. There's just so much that men have to do and be in order to complete the checkmark for women. Tall. Hot. Have the right category of vehicle. Bank balance. Funny. More successful than other men. And the list goes on. All of this can only get you a seat at the dating table. One thing goes wrong, and you're out. For women, they don't need men's help one day until they need all our help because we're supposed to provide for them. This varies from woman to woman, so it can get tricky for men to understand the dynamics. 
I think it's true women treat the men they think are inferior like garbage and are subservient to the ones they think are high value until they become equals and then they treat them poorly to get an ego massage. Wow. This is what I believe is the true and raw nature of women. It just explains why in most Western societies today, modern women negate traditional gender roles where men are leaders and women follow their lead. For them, being aligned with their feminine side is akin to oppression, and they celebrate when other women go against their nature and instead adopt masculine attributes to dominate men. Are they following the ways of modern women? Or are they doing what they wanted to do and become all along this time? So, when things aren't going exactly the way women want them to go, in terms of career, relationships, and life overall, they want the equation to magically solve itself. Women aren't programmed to see themselves live through old age alone. This is why they want to have someone by their side as a financial cushion so they can live their lives in peace and not have to live in a nursery home. Now guys, you heard what he said at the end? He said they want to pretty much cling on to a man so they don't end up in a nursing home or end up lonely with their cats at their mother's. It's sad, but this is happening. Why? Because they're pushing men to the side and they're saying the same thing the woman said in the first. You're, you're with the patriarchy or they treat you that way. And men are hearing that no longer. But guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you guys next video. Peace out. Maybe you give me